Hi, my name is Matt Dugan, Corporate Executive Chef with Vitamix, and it's my pleasure to bring you the Vitamix Immersion Blender. What we've got here is we've got a 625 watt motor that really brings the power and precision of Vitamix high performance blending into the immersion market. Uh, all we really need to do to get started is undo our cord, plug ourselves in, and we're set and ready to blend. It doesn't get simpler than that. A few unique items about this immersion blender is its unique one-handed touch operation. We've really taken a lot of thought into the design and careful engineering of this with this one-handed touch operation with the power button at the top and the five-speed variable speed button underneath of that. Very simply, now two fingers is all it takes to operate this immersion blender. It separates into two pieces, the bottom one becoming dishwasher safe, and what this has is it's got our unique uh, four blade system in the bottom of it with our also uh, unique blade and bell guard. And what this does is it increases the flow of ingredients, uh, limits the amount of suction, whether or not you're blending in a glass jar or in a pot off the stove, uh, but really puts that 625 watts of power and precision from your motor in down through the shaft and into your blades. So I guess, without further ado, let's get the blending. We'll build our first blend and I'll show you how to operate the Vitamix Immersion Blender. For this, we're going to use uh, just a simple glass mason jar. We're going to do a green smoothie using some frozen mango. We've got a whole wedge of lime with the peel. You don't really have to use lime juice or little segments or things like that. You can use whole lime with the peel with the 625 watt motor. It's going to pull it down and pulverize it. Putting that in the bottom along with half an orange. You've got some pineapple with the core. We like hiding our greens in our spinach so you've got some nice green spinach in our smoothie. We're going to add a little bit of green grape. And last but not least, just a touch of coconut water. Now to simply operate the machine, uh, all you've got to do is have one hand on the immersion blender, one hand on your glass jar. To operate, very simply, the power button will allow you to start it, but then as you increase the variable speed with the speed selection, you can increase that with your second finger that's on the unit. All right, so as we get through this, we're going to start this down at variable one or our lowest setting. We're gonna press down on the ingredients just slightly and we're gonna start the immersion blender, allowing it to cycle through all of the different speeds. And as we push down on these ingredients, we increase the speed of the immersion blender. We let that 625 watts of motor really power through all of the ingredients in this smoothie to give us a Vitamix quality blend that we're known for. The other nice feature of this is that the motor is very responsive to the controls, so if you did want to or have to stop it for any reason, all you have to do is simply let go of the controls and it will stop. Now that we've got everything flowing through the blades and down through, what we'll do is let the motor take over. The 625 watts will pull all of the ingredients down and through the blades, allowing for a Vitamix nice quality blend. Awesome. After about 25 to 30 seconds, maybe 35 to 40 seconds if you're just getting used to it, we just really unsnap the bottom of the immersion blender. Again, this is dishwasher safe, so either a quick rinse or a run to the dishwasher through the dishwasher and you're ready to go. The beauty about this is I can drink out of right what I blended in. A little straw is all I need and I'm set and ready to go. The next recipe that I wanted to show you today is our plant-based milkshake. And what we've got for this is another mason jar. We've got some ice. We've got some banana. We'll just put in there about one and a half bananas. A little bit of raw cashew. What this will do is add some more creaminess along with the banana. We've got a touch of date syrup. some unsweetened cocoa powder, 
That'll get us our nice chocolate fix. And then a vanilla coconut yogurt. You can see we've filled up this four cup mason jar pretty full to the top. And now we let the immersion blender go to work. We simply give it a quarter turn. You can hear it click into place. Again, we'll start on variable one. We'll insert the immersion blender down in and then increase the speed as we get to blending. And you can hear that 625 watt motor and those blades really breaking down all of that ice. Not only the ice, but also the cashews, combining all the ingredients, pureeing that banana up. And that's really where it goes to work. The one-handed operation means I can leave one hand on the jar, making sure it stays firmly in place, and the other hand on the power button. Awesome, and again, another 25 to 30 seconds, and I've got a nice, creamy, plant-based milkshake. It's ready to go. I'm going to pour this one out for you so that you can see the smoothness that we've created out of this immersion blender. Right to the top. Doesn't get better than that. Simply insert a straw and you're ready to drink. Last but not least, I want to show you that our immersion blender is really portable. You can take it with you, you can take it to the stove, you can take it just off the stove. And what I've prepared for you is a cashew cream of mushroom soup. We've slowly simmered these ingredients for about an hour and a half. And as you can see, we've got some sliced mushrooms, some cashews, a little bit of onion, garlic, some fresh thyme in there, along with some vegetable stock. We're gonna attach another blending wand on here and we're ready to go. So no matter whether you're blending in a pot, in a mason jar, in a bowl, if you wanted different textures, you can certainly use a lower speed. So for this, I'm starting this in here at a variable one and moving it all of the ingredients around at a lower speed because I am working with something that's hot and letting that motor do the work for me. If I wanted some chunks left in there, I could very simply stop like that. But we're gonna unleash the power of this motor in here and the blade and the bell shape to really give us a nice creamy soup out of this. Those cashews add a lot of really nice creaminess without having to add extra dairy, keeping this vegan friendly and plant-based again. The nice guard on the bottom mean it, doesn't, it, it does not keep suction and limits the amount of suction that it will to the bottom of the pot, as well as moving it around like this won't scratch the bottom of my pot at all either. Awesome, and about one minute later is all it takes. We'll shake that off, set it aside, and now you can see all of the ingredients that have been combined together for our cashew cream of mushroom soup. We'll get a small ladle and a bowl so that we can set this out. And whether or not you're working on six or eight servings or two or three servings, depending on your blending vessel, you know, the Vitamix Immersion Blender will sort of let you do a multi-batch or single batch all with the same piece of machinery. Awesome. So with that, that's pretty much about the Immersion Blender. If there are more product details that you need, please check out the product detail page. Thank you very much and have a great day.